What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Thoughts and today we are doing another real versus fake. You probably know what it is in the title. So first off on my left hand we have the original Apple Watch Series 6. You can check out the review uh, and unboxing on these on my previous videos or I'll leave the link in the description box below. And that is up against one of the series six clones which i have at the moment which is this k8 smartwatch series six clone uh, ignore the color because this is the one i received so in this video today we're going to check a quick comparison between the both as well we're going to see if the bands actually fit see what the screen is like and everything in between just before i start make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when i upload any video you'll actually be notified and make sure you follow me on one of these social medias as i always put up sneak peeks on what to expect when it comes to videos on my own all sorts channel so i'm just gonna take these smart watches off and while i am i'll cue the intro what's happening people let's get straight into it so as you can see here uh, on the left we have the black one we have, it's the original uh, series 6 on the right which is the pink fake series 6 smartwatch this is the k8 version like i said if you want to see a full unboxing and review check out the link in the description box below all my previous videos so here we have it they both look similar the only thing you can actually see which is different is the k8 has a big bezel at the bottom and a small one at the top but obviously with this apple one it's uh, there's no bezels, there's only slim bezels around but no, it's a full screen one so taking a look on the side now I've been told um, as this is just a Wi-Fi one, this Series 6 it doesn't have a red band around it the GPS and cellular one does uh, but this K8 smartwatch does have a red band around the crown as well and this is a rose gold model on the K8 and this is a um space gray color on the well call it a black color on the uh, original series 6 so everything that actually placed in the right pl uh, right place what i'm going to do is actually take the straps off just to give you a better look around the watch and there we go so let's take a look at the size first of the watches uh, the k8 feels a bit more chunky and a little bit bigger this, they're both supposed to be 44 millimeters <laughs> I'm just dropping it. I'm gonna. I've already scratched my uh, original series one. Check that. I've not even had it a week at all. But yeah, uh, the K8 actually feels just a bit chunky. Look, it's um, with, uh, height wise, it's definitely a bit bigger. So it is a bit chunky with this K8 Series 6. Taking a look on the other side, it looks identical as well. So ignore the color, it's just the design that you need to look at that looks exactly the same. And they also have put the real one on the left they also have the same uh, design when it comes to taking off and putting on the straps as well where you push this little button in but we're going to check out if the if the fake straps actually fit the real one and uh, vice versa if the real straps actually fit the fake so you are going to find that out later in today's video so you got the same button placement uh, with the crown mic and the on and off button uh, that is placed in the same place taking a look at the sensor now the original one uh, does have a new feature with this which is blood, blood oxygen this k8 one a k8 doesn't as the specifications were leaked before so they just made a mock-up design of uh, the the series 6 which is this k8 i have got other ones coming so make sure you are sub, uh, subscribed for that so taking a look at the text around it so you've got uh smartwatch and it says apple watch on the original series 6 same again 44 millimeter they both say 40 they, they both are 44 millimeter uh the original one says aluminium and ceramic case and uh is it 10x what does it say at the bottom 10 n dash uh, x glass so this one actually says aluminium and ceramic case ppg heart rate bluetooth smartwatch series 6 and this one is a little bit different with the text wise aluminium ceramic case and uh, it tells you the glass gps and i don't know if you can see wr uh, dash 50 meters so it is waterproof you can actually use it up to 
50 meters as well i don't know about this k8 if you want to see a water test then let me know in the comment section below so just before we uh, well i bought this one up you know this is already on uh, the k8 does not have the original startup logo it just says smartwatch if you see my unboxing and review you would have known that so what i'm gonna do i've got the k8 watch here i'm gonna see if the original straps actually fit onto it so here we go so yes and they actually click into it as well as you can see they click into it try the bottom one and as you can see you heard that little click and that's it so yes they do actually fit into the fake smartwatch so that's really good so the strap actually fits so we've got the original one right here now let's see if the original one fits uh, the fake straps fits on the original case so as you can see we've got a little click there that means it fits and it actually it's not budging so it clicks nicely let's try it again if we can get it in the right place and there we go clicked straight in so there we have it the fake strap fits on the original and the original strap fits on the fake smart uh, smartwatch weird <laughs> so that means they've got everything right with the case and as always i've got the uh, real smartwatch and the buttons actually work when it comes to sliding these straps back out same again with the original it's a good job about these because they're not both the same color so i know which one's which if i got the black one then i'll definitely be taking my time and taking them off properly so that i don't get mixed up so there we have it with the bands if that answered your question let me know in the comment section below now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the features well some of the features on both of these smart watches you can see the full features on the uh, unboxing and reviews but uh, yeah to switch this on is this power button right here i've uh, left it off um as i wanted to think it and it comes up as a smartwatch you can check out the full review uh this also the crown does work so as you know with the original let me just put my uh pass passcode in um when it goes to thingy you know these are this is i use it as the app view uh not the smart view just the list view because it's much better for me uh, so as you can tell the crown does work so when it comes to the uh k8 fake series 6 same again when you push it in or when you go to there that is the list view and the crown does work so the crown works on both of these the real and the fake it's definitely you can actually definitely tell which is original which is fake but have got a one-to-one -one copy coming including the box the reason why i didn't show you the box in this video is because the box is nowhere near the same as the original so if you want to check the box on this ka you can check out the unboxing and review right both of the small watches on the wrist as you can see here so uh, let's hold um the original one in or hold them both in see how much what watch faces we got so you can actually use the crown on both of these as well but the crown is hard to actually get on uh, well it's hard to reach and this will use the uh, the touch screen so as you can see here it has got 20 the k8 has got 20 plus uh, watch faces so all that you are asking uh, can you actually change the watch faces yes you can but on the app i don't think you can actually change it we tried it in the unboxing review and it didn't actually work so let's try this one and let's go into here and same again you can actually choose the uh, watch face that you want on the original but they have many more of which you can actually change so there's more watch faces on the original than the k8 you can actually put a new one on there so uh, let's go back into this one let's change it similar which this one right here so as you can see here does these work it works on the uh, it just works on the health apps but when it comes to the oh, battery low that's going to actually bring me to my next uh, uh, feature as well does the charges actually work when it comes to charging the fake charger with the real one and vice versa let me just show you the chargers uh, this one's the original it's more dented than the fake one as you can see so the fake one's already plugged in and when you plug, plug it into charge it says charging connected so that's the fake charger let's put the original one which is this one right here this watch right here onto the fake one 
and it does nothing it doesn't charge so the fake charger does not charge the original and it's vice versa as well the original does not charge the fake because i've already tried it so you gotta take my word on it so they don't work some um with the fakes and they don't work with the originals so if you've got an original watch make sure you got an original charger and if you've got a fake watch make sure you got a fake charger or the charger you use in the box because they're not going to work so as we've got that sorted when you press the on button here it takes it off but the series 6 original has always on display so when you press this button it just goes to the apps that you've already actually been on uh, pushing the crown in it goes to the list view pushing this crown in doesn't do anything to go to the list view on this you've got to swipe it left and you can use the crown here so that's a little bit different on there um, and i've got to say when it comes to oh, battery low again uh, already charged it a bit when it comes to the heart rate and everything it doesn't actually give you a um, a proper reading because if you saw the unbox uh, the review video um, it just gives you the same reading whether it, uh, the watch is off your wrist or on your wrist so that doesn't actually work uh, any heart health app so when it comes to the original uh, you, of course this one actually works so let's go into heart rate and that will actually measure it and give you a, a accurate heart rate and it goes straight to the app these actually give you the results uh, the same and it still goes to the app as well so if you're thinking what is the purpose of buying this k8 smartwatch uh, it does make phone calls you can actually receive notifications on here the battery lasts on this k8 i would uh, say about seven or even less than seven hours this one lasts more than 10 hours 10 to 12 hours depending on how you use it as well so uh, yeah let me just take these watches off to give you a uh, quick comparison in my opinion so in my opinion if you wanted to buy one just buy the original because uh this one this uh, well compared to the k8 it doesn't give you an accurate reading of your health app so that's the reason why i would say if you want to purchase a k8 make sure you buy the original because this k8 does not give you accurate readings uh, overall it's an okay watch i'm not gonna lie it's got some okay apps um the only thing that works okay on it is the calls because the health app doesn't work properly you can actually put pictures on it and whatnot drink reminders reminders so it's just a normal watch if you want to use it that looks like the series 6 so in my opinion if you want to buy one as i said before get an original one you can actually do you don't need to buy the series 6 you can get the series 3 4 or 5 it's up to you i mean probably series 1 it'll actually perform better than this one to be honest uh, the only thing that you're going to get is uh, with this k8 is just looks uh, i have got a lot of other videos coming up really soon on uh, some latest series 6 clones so make sure you stay tuned by that this k8 does not have blood oxygen even if it did it probably won't give you an accurate reading because all the health apps they don't actually give it give you an accurate reading on this so a lot of people actually said what they wanted to know with the battery wise so it's less than seven hours uh, but yeah if you want to see a full review check out my previous video so this video was just um, a real versus mm, a real versus fake with the real one on the left and the fake k8 on the right um, the only good thing about it the watch band is exactly the same the uh, taking off and putting back on mechanism is exactly the same looks similar as well i'm not gonna lie it's a bit chunky on the uh, k8 but overall the looks are exactly the same if you want to see any other videos then do let me know in the comment section below don't worry i've got some latest clones coming very soon so i'll do another comparison with them ones compared to the original but yeah thanks again for watching and i'll see you again for another video